So, Ian, what is parenting like for you? What are some of the challenges you face as a dad? Oh, my gosh. Where do you start? First, let me say being a dad is the best role I have ever played. It's something that I've been wanting for most of my life. I thought I'd have three kids by the time I was 30. It didn't quite play out that way, but uh, I sure am basking in the, in in the experience right now. But, you know, as far as the challenges, um, you know, there's a challenge at every age, every developmental milestone. Right now, uh, my three-year-old is experiencing some bedwetting. And, oh, for me, when I was a little kid, if I wet the bed, I'd wake up in a panic and try to change the sheets so my parents wouldn't find out, or God forbid my brothers would find out about it. They'd bust my chops till no end. Um, and I'd, I would be embarrassed or ashamed. I'd even go to sleep the next night worried that it would happen again. And I didn't want that same experience uh, for Penna. Um, luckily, I married a, a fantastic woman who, Erin, uh, by the way, my wife's name is Erin. She's a nurse. And she knew immediately what to do. We got the kids in the good night's pants. And it really helped us. It was, it was a fantastic solution to, uh, to an issue that, you know, parents deal with all over. Um, what's nice is Pennell will put the good nights on by herself, which is helping her grow her sense of independence. She sleeps comfortably. I sleep comfortably at night because she's not getting up in the middle of the night where she was when it first started. Um, and then waking up feeling confident where I wake up, you know, a bit insecure um, and dealing with, you know, other things that were negatively impacting my day and my night's sleep. You know, Penna just goes throughout her day and she takes it all in stride. It's a complete non-issue. Um, and it's amazing because one out of six kids from four to, four to 12 deal with nighttime wedding. And there's nothing that the kids can do about it. It's developmental. So for us at this stage, we're just very proactive in creating a nurturing environment, especially when, you know, it's time to settle down for the night. And we, you know, we're very, very proactive parents. And we just let our kids know that we're there for them and support them with whatever they're doing and, you know, relate our experiences of growing up to what they're experiencing. And, you know, they start, they start to catch on. It's great. Uh, so why is this issue so important? Well, you know, I just feel that if this is something that I can help other parents deal with, something that I learn, like everything that I get excited about, I like to share it. I mean, whether I see a good movie like Sharknado or uh, read a good book or whatever, when I find something I like, I share it anyway. So this is just creating a, a platform um, that enables me to, you know, share something that I found that really works for me, you know, as a way to help other parents who are, are dealing with the same, you know, challenges of parenting that I am at this age. That's awesome. So uh, what have you been up to since 90210? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 90210 has been off the air for 16 years. Um, you know, I've been pretty busy doing lots of different things. Most recently, I've been involved with a TV movie series called Sharknado. Sharknado The Fourth Awakens airs July 31st on Sci-Fi. Very excited about that. It's the first three-syllable word my daughter Penna said while she was spinning around. Sharknado, Sharknado. Um, my wife and I also started a family lifestyle blog called At Home with the Zeerings. And that's a place where we can share our passions for food, for family. Uh, my wife is Oh, so incredible. She is always coming up with great ideas to do craft projects with the girls. And um, we share that and all our other family adventures uh, on at home with the Zeerings. And that's been a lot of fun. I look at it kind of like almost a time capsule um, because I know my little kids will appreciate it when they're older. But right now, you know, it gives some insights to parents out there who are maybe looking for a fresh idea or a spin on whether it be dinner or style or, um, or, you know, coming up with creative things to do with your kids. It's been fantastic. But I think my greatest accomplishment since 90210, I, hands down, are my kids. Me and Penner are my wife for everything these days. That's so awesome. Thanks. So um, 
what kind of tools do you recommend for managing bedwetting? Well, you know what? Bedwetting isn't a conversation that's usually, uh, that usually goes on between parents. It's kind of low on the totem pole, uh, you know, because of the stigma that's been associated with it. But there are ways to manage uh, this issue. There are solutions out there. Um, if people want to know more about nighttime bedwetting issues, they can go to goodnights.com and hear directly from the experts about, uh, about it. Um, for me, you know, I just want the parents out there to know that, hey, you know what? It happens. It's developmental. But it, in the end, it's going to be okay. And if there is an issue, go see a, a physician. You know, it could be indicative of a, of a larger problem. But for most people, it's an overcomable hurdle. And it just takes a little time. In the meantime, be proactive and loving and supporting with your kids. And let them know you can relate to it because you went through it too, if you did. And dispel their fears. And use the good nights. It just completely takes the whole pain in the neck out of the entire problem. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.